again, I'm Ari, and this is Confusing Producing with me. I'm going to be talking about how to basically take a demo all the way to a full production. be using my song Math, M-A-T-H. Um, yes, just like the algebra that you do in school. I'm going to be taking this song, kind of breaking down basically the things that I've done to get it where it is, and also kind of my mindset for going forward in finishing this production. Thanks for tuning in on this live stream, and if you're just watching this video later on, that's great. Um, I'm really glad to have you. Thanks for watching, and uh, once again, I'm Ari, and this is Confusing Producing with me. You know, sometimes when you, you're like me, just, just learning about producing every day, uh, it can get a little confusing, and that's fine. That's just the way it is, you know? Producing is not always simple, okay? Sometimes you got a lot of buttons, you got all these buttons over here and you don't know how all of them work. It's okay. You can be deducing, producing while it's confusing every single time. All you gotta do. Deducing, producing while it's confusing every single time. All you gotta do. So, alright, now I'm gonna get into this song here and I'm gonna go ahead and break down. First, let's kind of break down um, what this song sounds like without any production. Really stripped down. It's just gonna be basically guitar and vocals that I'm going to listen to here. Okay, so here we go. This is the run-through of math so you guys can hear it. You can skip through the steps to find the product of this mess. There's no way to say this lightly, the numbers don't stop us fighting addition, submission. Things blow up like nuclear fission. Speak your mind, don't divide. Work together in the kitchen, solving the problem, ain't sure. Mission no, but sure Calculate my every move This calculator just for you Our relationship is arithmetic And I'm solving our equation Calculate my every move This calculator just for you Our relationship is arithmetic And I'm solving our equation no, this math ain't complicated. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute all this other stuff. It's all good because it's confused and producing. What am I telling you? Let's go ahead and listen to it and then I will go over um, kind of what I've done here to make it sound a little more produced. All right, here we go. Skip through the steps to find the product of this mess There's no way to say this lightly The numbers don't stop us fighting addition, submission Things blow up like nuclear fission Speak your mind, don't divide Work together in the kitchen Solving the problem, ain't sure Mission, no, but sure Calculate my every move This calculator just for you Our relationship is a rhythm and I'm solving our equation Calculate my every move This calculator just for you Our relationship is arithmetic And I'm solving our equation No, this math ain't complicated So I'm gonna go ahead and break down the things that I've done so far And then I'm gonna talk about uh, my my process, I guess, of um, of planning out my production. All right, so this song started out just two guitars tracked, and then one of them's turned way, way, way right, the other one's turned way, way, way left, and then I got my vocals here. So I wanted this song to have a level of movement, so the first thing I added was just a kick drum. Just It just lines up with the chords. So it's just like, dun, dun. Dun. It's simple, but it actually just adds that imp impact kind of thing that I wanted, and it doesn't it doesn't muddy up the space because it's all together. I mean, you want to have some type of movement. Um, and then the next thing I added was this bass right here. This is a tight synth bass, and this this bass, as you can see, actually lines up perfectly with this drum and with the chords of the guitar up here. And once again, all I did was line everything up together. I played a descending melody on the bass that followed the chord melody. It's just, you know, simple, but it's really felt. It really um, adds to the the build of the song, and having bass just fills out the song and gets the low end kind of deeper, so I really like that. Next thing, 
is I have these little reverse claps. Kind of here, when I played it earlier, it, it's kind of like a fading in, like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. So for me, that was a really nice effect. You can tell that it's kind of fading into something. It's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And it helps. Um, I usually place those little fade in reverses. Place them kind of right before the the downbeat of the chord. So it'll be like whoosh, bump, whoosh, bump. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Because those are the main things in this production. Then I added another little effect, which I like to uh, talk about that. was the basic production of the verse right there and then we added one more little thing which is this little da -da -da -da, this little rim and right now just by itself it doesn't really sound like much but with the whole production it actually sounds really nice so just listen Skip to other steps to find the product of this mess There's no way to say this lightly The numbers don't stop us fighting attention submission Things blow up like nuclear fission So, those are the basic elements of the verse for now I'm thinking about adding maybe a synth or long drawn out fade in for the, um, the verse into the chorus But right now that's all I got for the verse I took a different approach a little bit with the chorus. Instead of going with the actual um, movement of the chords, I actually just did a four on the floor type of beat. So I started with this kick, and I'm just going to play that for you. I'm probably going to make it have a little more um, punch. So right now, I haven't really edited like mixed much of this song I've mostly just added things in the production stage and that's another thing I want to talk about going from the different stages of well, writing recording producing mixing and mastering and releasing a song those those are all the stages and when things are confusing it just ain't good so that kick and then I have, I have this these here these claps and the rim all of it and it, it, it creates a nice effect I don't know if I like it I might want to raise one of them up higher because they're kind of low I want something in a little higher register more like of a more a, more of a snare type of vibe um, but we're gonna listen to this real quick so we can hear what I've done in the chorus so far and where I'm going with it Calculate my every move this calculate I just for you our relationship is a rhythmic Solving our equation Calculate my every move This calculate I just for you Our relationship is a arithmetic And I'm solving our equation Now this math ain't complicated Sometimes we get a little lag Um, so as you can tell The kick just keeps the movement It's like a house, almost like a house kick It's like, boom but it's just it's just vibing it's just vibing with the vibing with the instruments we have these layered claps and rim shots or whatever and one of them is the same noise that you heard in the actual verse which is like da 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 um and you know it's nice it's fine i really want to change it now because i just listened to it and i didn't like love what i was hearing but that's it's all good that's a process that's a producing process cool so I just wanted to show you guys where I met with that and you can kind of hear how it's a demo and now it's being built up with some drum production a little bit of bass so my next steps are adding bass to the chorus finishing out the drum production in the chorus and then finishing the build up for the whole song then I'm gonna do synth for the rest of the song as well and maybe even some more stuff so that's going to be good. Um, but before I try to do any of that or plan that out, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my producing process and the writing pro all these things together and what you got to do. So basically, 
as a new producer who is possibly confused, I would advise you to um, start out with your song that you wrote, bring it into the studio, and record. Like, I would start out just doing that. Just come in, record the song, um, just whatever you can play. If you play piano, play guitar, whatever, um, or, and then do some vocals, too. Like, it doesn't have to be the best vocal take. I would say do, you know, a couple takes, try to get a good, decent, a decent scratch vocal, um, and I would, you know, do a little bit of mixing on those, on the guitar and on the piano, on your vocals, all those things. And then what I would do is I would take a little break from the song, or maybe keep it on your phone, like as a memos. This is what I do personally. I keep it on my phone in memos. And then when I'm walking to class, because I'm in music school, by the way, a music school student. Um, when I'm walking to class, I just kind of listen back to the song and I try to hear in my head, like, okay, what is the vibe for this song? Like, what, what is this song going for? And then when I come back for the next step of the process, this is like when the producing starts. I think producing can be just as creative as writing or even more sometimes because you have more options. You know, you're actually um, being more creative because you have more tools, in my opinion, because when you're producing, you have the option of basically any instrument, um, depending on how many, I don't know virtual instruments you have so I would come to the studio and I would start producing and the first thing I would do is for me the first thing I do is I think of okay where's the drums where's the drums in this song because I'm a big rhythmic person I write with kind of a rhythmic style sometimes as I think math math has a good rhythm to it the song I've been showing you guys I come in with a rhythm in mind and with a beat in mind, and then I play with that, and if it doesn't work, I throw it out, I try some melts. And sometimes I create exactly what I hear in my mind, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I come back with a completely different idea or a completely different final product, and that's fine. That's the way it goes. It's creative, once, I, once again. You can't always get it with just a formula. You have to try different things, and that's the fun thing about producing and creating music is you really can get away with trying a bunch of different stuff, and sometimes it works better than other times, but it's kind of the beauty of it, I would say. After I go ahead with the beat, I'm going to go back in there with maybe some, a little bit of snares, a little hi-hats, a little bit of toms any other type of drums because usually i start off with like a kick i come back with the snare come with the hi-hat come with some little fade ins the little reverse clap some claps some snaps things like that so other other little um filler things that kind of help build the song and give it space and um fill up fill up the space actually they don't give it space they fill up the space because a demo usually has a lot of space in it to be filled up depending on the style and usually i'm going to go to the bass if i need to have a strong bass in there and um i my approach to the bass is usually either a long like low 808 thing or just a long low like plucked bass or picked bass anything like that sometimes i actually will play the bit Ooh, poor poor guy my guitar's over here my beautiful guitar let me go ahead and show off this guitar ah. this guitar is beautiful all right okay all right cool now i move the guitar out the way we good so the next thing that I go to is the bass, and like I said, I, I actually will play the bass sometimes, or I'll just use the 808 with the keyboard, like got my big MIDI keyboard here, as you can see, and then um, after I do that, I pretty much will move on to any other random noises. It could be synth, it could be strings, it could be, you know, I like to mess around and use different um, producing things no matter what. I, I think it's this is kind of the part where it's good to experiment a little bit, so I say, you know, you have freedom. And that's the first swing at it production wise. And then I'll go to the each I'll go to each build up of the song and I'll be like, okay, is there anything I can add or is there anything I can take away before the build up to make it hit harder? So that's a big that's a big thing too. That's a big key right there. So once again, is there anything I can add or is there anything I can take away before the build up to make the build up hit harder? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And there's other things you can do too, like automation. You can automate the volume to go way down before a buildup or way down before a hit. Like if you're going to have a really big hit, you can have everything shrink down, shrink down, shrink down, and then <gasps> pop. You know what I mean? That's a, pr a producing approach that I take pretty often, generally most productions that I do. I usually leave a lot of stuff 
mostly dry. I, I'd like to mix very uh, lightly in the production stage. One, because I'm still creating and mixing takes a lot more on your computer to have all those plugins in. And then two, because it's just nice to come back with fresh ears and really do your mix. So I would say that after you finish the initial production stage, you've added some drums, some, you know, some bass, some synth, you got your guitar, your vocals, you got your piano, whatever your main instruments and your, um, your first level of production is, I would come back, I would start doing some mixing, and I would try to, once again, add or remove anything that you think is necessary or unnecessary in the song. Thanks for watching this stream. Thank you for listening. Um, please like and subscribe. Once again, my name is A-R-E-Y, Airy. This is the Confusing Producing Show, and um, I'm going to keep producing.